Today, we're taking a look at Portux, a lightweight, fast and portable Linux distribution that's perfect for those who want a simple yet powerful system. We're also going to explore the latest updates in Portux 1.9, making it easier to understand for anyone new to Linux. So, if you're curious about this distro or looking for a new Linux experience, let's break it down. So, what is Portux? Portux is a Linux distribution, meaning it's an operating system like Ubuntu or Fedora. What makes it special is that it's built to be lightweight, fast and portable. You can install it on a USB drive and run it from almost any computer without installing anything on the hard drive. It's based on Slackware, one of the oldest Linux distributions and it takes inspiration from Slacks and Portus, two other portable Linux systems. The goal of Portux is simple. Give you a small, efficient Linux system that's easy to carry around, quick to boot up and flexible to use. It also has an optional immutable mode, meaning you can run it in a way that prevents any changes to the system unless you explicitly allow them. This makes it great for security and stability. One cool thing about Portux is that it comes pre-configured with 7 different desktop environments. If you don't know what a desktop environment is, think of it as the look and feel of your system. It determines how your menus, windows and icons look. Portux lets you choose from Cinnamon, Gnome, KDE Plasma, LXDE, LXQT, MATE and XFCE. Each one has its strengths. For example, Cinnamon and MATE are great for beginners. KDE Plasma is highly customizable and XFCE and LXQT are lightweight meaning they use fewer system resources. This makes Portux a great choice no matter what kind of user you are. One thing that may surprise you is that Portux doesn't come with a web browser pre-installed. This is actually a good thing. Instead of forcing a browser on you, Portux gives you an app store where you can download any popular browser you prefer, whether it's Firefox, Chrome, Brave or something else. The App Store also makes it easy to install other applications, so you can customize your system the way you want. Now, let's talk about what's new in the latest version of Portux version 1.9. If you're already using it, these updates will make your experience even better. If you're new to it, this will give you an idea of how the system is improving over time. Here are some of the biggest changes. If you work with video files, you'll be happy to know that X265 encoding is now fully working. Some system monitoring tools weren't displaying their versions correctly and now that's fixed. If you're using the XFCE desktop, some minor problems have been resolved, even before the official fixes from the XFCE developers, which is kind of impressive if you ask me. More network devices are now properly supported, meaning better Wi-Fi and internet connectivity for more users. Improved multi-lib light stripping. This is a technical improvement that helps with compatibility when running 32-bit applications on a 64-bit system. They optimized GCC build flags. This makes the system a little faster and more efficient when compiling software. If you install Portux, it now supports modern GPT partitioning which is great for newer hardware. If you're into development, you can now run Docker containers on Portux. If you use printers, this update improves compatibility with GTK free based applications. They moved expat package to fix network booting issues. This is a small but important fix that ensures network functionality when booting with the bare minimum system components. The system is now even lighter because certain unnecessary packages like Fuse and MP4v2 have been removed. Of course, with every new release, you also get updated software. Here are some of the key updates in Portux 1.9. Linux kernel 6.13. This means better hardware support and security improvements. NVIDIA driver 570.86.16. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, you get better performance and stability. Cinnamon 6.4.6. A smoother and more future-rich version of the Cinnamon desktop. GNOME 47.3. The latest GNOME experience with the newest features and fixes. KDE Plasma 6.10 Thanks to a contributor named Lucky Cyborg, KDE has been updated to its latest version. And many other package updates. Almost all included applications have been refreshed to their latest stable versions. So, why should you give Portux a try? Here are a few reasons. It's portable. 
You can run it from a USB stick, making it perfect for troubleshooting, testing or carrying your own Linux system wherever you go. It's fast and lightweight. Unlike heavier distributions, Portiux boots up quickly and runs smoothly even on older hardware. It's modular. You only install what you need, keeping the system clean and efficient. It's up to date. With updates like the ones in version 1.9, you get the latest features and security improvements. It supports multiple desktop environments. No need to be stuck with one interface. Choose the one that fits your style. And it's free. Like most Linux distributions, Portiux is completely free to use. All around, Portiux 1.9 is a solid update to an already impressive Linux distribution. Whether you're looking for a portable OS, a lightweight Linux experience, or just something new to try, Portiux has a lot to offer. And as always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more Linux content. And let me know in the comments, have you tried Portiux before? What's your impression about it? Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.